So you want me to give the kids a chance, eh? Imagine my confusion when this pops up in my scouting reports. <laughs> if the Z is a C, my friends, he's Argentinian. I was like, what? All right, my friends, welcome in. It's episode 31. Isn't it funny how just getting in some potentially, I, I haven't looked, some potentially decent looking youth players can just, just warm your soul a little bit, especially after the last couple haven't so much. We've got every reason to be excited by Siad. Steinman? Siad? Siad? Shad. No idea. Maybe it's Chad. And I'm... Anyway, who is the position to be one of the most gifted players to come through the youth ranks at Adder Den Hog in recent years? I like to think... Of, and, and this is our head of youth development, Marcus from. How you doing, Marcus? Thanks for being a patron supporter um, and for bringing in this youth intake. 50-50 there. Um, my notable influence on bringing through many of the players, including Steinman and Lars Van Lingen. This has been due to my technical coaching style and is reflected in some of the playing attributes. I don't know if I've ever gotten that. Okay. 19 technical. I'm really glad we signed you, Marcus. Um, I've managed to shape the mentality of Du De Jong with my own influence and experience. Your deep experience, Marcus, in case you can't see me, you just randomly appeared in 2021, just saying. He does like a Tiki Taka and a 4411, which isn't our preferred formation, but, you know, Tiki Taka's close and he's technical, so maybe it works. Um, let's take a look. 15 years old, he's got five, four or five star potential. <laughs> has some physical things to, you know, grow into. The four strength and the six jumping reach and the balance is not great, but great first touch. Darn good mentals for being 15. Like, 15 and a half. Like, he's not even, like, about to be 16. Determined? Oh, dearie me, I'm pleased. I am pleased, okay? Let's just go down the list. When's the last time we just went down the list? Rodney Chion Aloy. Is that even remotely close to how you say that? Because that's a fantastic name. Anytime you get two hyphens in a name, I'm pleased. Fairly professional midfielder slash attacking mid. We play with those. Pretty good passing and technical. So the technical aspect is what he's talking about. Good, 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 good. Uh, UCL Yetter. Enough said. Uh, Royal, Royal, or Ro surely it's Royal. Um, Specken, 19 determination. Winger, eh, everything else is kind of poor, but I like the determination and the, yeah, th this is like the classic fast and can do a little bit with the ball at his feet, and he has one really good attribute. So, probably not as, as good. Okay, let, let's go down. What's the other one? Um, Lars Van Lingen. Where's Lars? Down at the bottom. So this one I understand, okay? Like, I think I with, with personality determined. This is due to my technical coaching style and respect in some of their playing attributes. So is finishing, and and maybe technique. Is that is is that is that what Lars has taken away from this? I mean, I'm not complaining. We have Steinman, okay? I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm just. just Sometimes you just kind of go like, huh, that's interesting. And then the other one is down here that gets mentioned by name. Okay, that's that's interesting, I guess. Fairy Ginnum is actually one star. So this is probably an actual star versus the half stars are going to be gray stars, right? Two and a half to three. Oh, six foot tall. Look at the, look at the mentals. Enthusiastic. 
could be could be good. Now, not really at a ball, well, not yet at a ballpoint defender. Passing is a five. So definitely more of a just a regular old central defender, but he's 15 and a half. So, oh, we come into the Dutch Cup final, my friends, in fifth place, one point off of fourth. Some disappointing results. Our unbeaten run is finished. We lost to Utrecht 1 0. I was really confused in this game. Gairano Kirk here was pretty much, I mean, they might have had three starters in 26 games now, but I actually looked at their squad and it was a bunch of players that had played in the league below is what it was saying. I was flummoxed. So it's like, it's almost like we played their B team and they beat us, which was odd. Um, I'm sorry, I can't scroll this up anymore, so I'll kind of put my head here so you can see the rest. Um, then we came back and we smashed Heronveen, which was nice to see. Vecchia getting another goal. Carranza getting a goal. We lost to Willem Tway in the 88th minute. Kind of disappointed. We just didn't really get going. And the players were tired at this point, and I said, I don't care. You're all playing. I think except for we might have made maybe one change. Yeah, Panya came in uh, instead of Shaq. And... They were all like red hearts at the end. And I'm like, I, I literally don't care. You're going to win this game. And of course, we, we score in the 22nd minute. We, they equalize in 30th minute. I'm like, I swear. Uis got a bruised foot that like bothered him all game. But we were able to get through it with uh, Carranza getting a hat trick. So after going quite quiet um, from a, a goal standpoint, like we talked about, right? Like all the way back. You can't even see it to January 4th. He's now scored four in his last three. So he, you know, he appreciates that we've stuck with him and given him an opportunity. He now has nine goals on the season, which is one every three, which is it, you know, fantastic. It's about on pace, though, right, when you look at last season. But what I like is all this, this improvement that he's doing. And, again, he's, I think, enabling the rest of the squad to score. Right? So it's much more even. So Panya's got ten goals. Vecchia's got 11 goals. Carranza's got nine. Again, false nine dropping in. Those guys go running past the Mazala, the on this side, the Mazala and the Shadow Striker, right? So um, obviously Kishna has fallen off from a goal scoring standpoint. We are kind of playing him out of position. So I've tried to throw in a little bit of 4 2 3 1 and play him on the wing to see if we can get him going. I still love him. Uh, Augustinson is out still. He's been out for four weeks with sprained ankle ligaments. That also has probably something to do with our. A little bit of dip in form. Evan Rottier has got a knock. He's got a tight calf, uh, but he could go. And Barack is suspended. Kane Seedorf has got a thigh strain. He's out for two weeks and has another two weeks to go. So we're starting both of our right backs today. And we'll hope nobody gets injured. And, of course, I'm going to go with this. We're going to skip all the press conference because it's going to ask me 7,000 questions. All right. One thing we're going to take a look at is they are missing. Oh, they've won the last five in a row. Yeah, it's going to be probably a tough sledding day, especially if you look at our form. Um, just one second, because I am going to do extended highlights today. And let's take a look at their squad, because they, they've they got somebody. I think it's their left back is out. Could have sworn it was their left back because I was thinking it was up against our right back. But they've all they've rotated the, the, the starts around if that's the case. I'm almost certain it's the left back. So he's a okay, his immediate description is midfielder. So he's a midfielder being played a little bit out of position. But it's not like he's terrible. He's more more defensive oriented, right? Like better at tackling than crossing and dribbling. But I don't see something where we can take like a significant advantage, right? Where it's like, oh wow, this guy's amazing. You gotta love when they're a center back and it automatically defaults to showing you them being a left back when he's definitely more of a center back. But he's not bad at left or uh, to that, yeah, left back. But they've got a pretty strong line here, my friends. So I don't think there's anything significant we could take advantage of. Um, I just thought it was kind of interesting because it had mentioned, you know, they're they're missing this player. How big of an impact will you think it'll be? Like, maybe they'll play Kane Seedorf level. Per nope, not really. Um, oh, oh, that was hmm, first minute. Thank you, Leopold, for catching that. Um, we do have the edge over Fanor this season. Now, to be fair, it was the first game of the season. We beat them at the stadium that we're at, and then we drew with them at home more recently. But I kind of discount the first game of the season a little bit. 
Um, we played the the four three two one both times. Um, so it kind of depends on if we just show up today. I'm a little nervous that Leaf Davis is our backup and obviously isn't as good as Augustinson. Um, but we'll have to see how it pans out. Okay, we're sticking with him. Stick Ooh, that was what my... Mm. Mm. I know that was excellent commentary, but when you just watch you go like, oh no, oh, oh no. <laughs> like, that's kind of what I was feeling there. I think I'm going to drop us to balance just for a little bit. Of course, I'll do that, and then we'll concede before the end of the highlight. But, you know, we're away from home. Let's let's kind of, you know, absorb a little bit of this and still pass it around but not get so aggressive. Is he off, or was our left back keeping him on? I, You know, you can call things. It just it just feels like you can call things where you're like, we're probably going to concede. Thomas Butnik. 19th goal of the season, and I do think uh, it's kind of hard to tell from that angle. It could have been Uis, it could have been Davis left him on. Keeper came out, tried to close the angle down, and it was a good finish. So, I guess we'll do an encourage. I, I you know, what? I am going to go back to to balance just to just to see how we do with just a little less aggressive, just to just to test it out. Carranza decides to watch the, the maybe he lost it in the lights. You know, I uh, can't see it. You know, that happens sometimes. It does seem, I don't know. I, it does seem, my friends, that they 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 could have a like a a place where you go play that isn't the other team's home stadium. That that might make it a little bit more even we're gonna try the four two three one we'll throw something different at him if it's not working right if you're, if you're down two nil 25 minutes in you might as well change it is like especially considering we've had one off off target shot and a point oh four x we're not creating any chances and they are so let's mix it up and see if we can throw something a little a little different at him it almost worked for Pena to get there but he didn't nielsen collects i was hoping he could pick out a ball playing defender type pass but you know that works he's working the system he's he's doing his job okay Plays it back to Pena. Kishna. Vecchia. Okay. Oh, he's trying to take a shot. He's, he's, he's trying to eke one back for us. That was a weak shot from Pena. What are you doing, mate? Like, at least he had run room to run into the box and then, like, get some power on it. But he didn't. Let's do a little demand more. Okay, we're liking that. We're liking that. Let's go. If we can nick one back here at, before the half... we. You know, obviously our chances go way up because then you get a little bit of momentum. Good stop from the keeper. He probably had defenders in the way. Couldn't really see what was happening. Nobody's really playing exceptionally well. We get Nielsen on a 6.9. That's the highest rating on the, of the squad. Lovely. If we can see here, the game's over. Let's, I, I thought we were going to have halftime. Nope. Hans is on a 6.8 now. He's he's improving. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. It should have been a goal, but it goes off the bar. Gadzooks. Make up for that in the second half. Mate. I believe in you. Mate. You were terrible. Their, their strong squad. It just, it's frustrating, right? Like, uh, you know, I think the other way to look at it is like, we did, if you play a team of the likes of Feyenoord three times in a season, and you've already won and drawn, it's hard to go and get, stay unbeaten, I think, especially at their place in a final. Maybe, maybe that's a weak mentality, but it's just like from a, from a numerical standpoint, it's like, wow, you got to play them three times, right? Vecchia? Vecchia? Oh. Couldn't tell if that was... I guess it was a solo strike, according to the commentary. Couldn't tell if it was a solo strike or something different. If he was trying to shross it there. Carranza's on a 6.2. You gotta take him off on a 6.2, don't you? Krishna's... Ner I mean, look at the... Maybe it's just the whole front line is just terrible today. 
I think I'm I'm not gonna take anybody off right now. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna demand more. Or no, I'm gonna berate. Let's berate. Okay, they they like it. They like when I scream at them. Okay. Yep. Seen enough. Novakovic is composed. That's good. Uh, Karan's just, you're at 6.2 after 68 minutes. You're coming off. Let's just, let's how these things happen. Nielsen. Oh, I was really hoping we had somebody just hanging out on the wing here like Kishna, but maybe it was just a little off target. Always cleans that up though. Vecchia. Okay. Turns. Can he pick out a pass? Or Sross. Or he goes down. No. No. I was outside the box. As long as we get the free kick, I'm okay. That is definitely not a penalty, though. I'm calling it now. But don't get your hopes up. Have a sip of your water at home. I like that. Stay hydrated, my friends. That just... That. Yeah. But we get, a fr we get a free kick, right? They called a foul. No? Come on. Or it didn't turn into anything? Becky again. Looks like a repeat. It's going to get tackled again. What is that? I feel like this is like... It, it, I should be hitting skip. Like it's showing me a highlight of... But it, it's a different time stamp, isn't it? I guess it was like an identical play, which is hilarious. Um, we're going to make sure Novakovic takes it, and then Vecchia is our second taker. And I love that you can't confirm down here. It's just great. Um, that was bizarre. The exact same highlight. I mean, not exact, right? Like, the same idea, of course. Our best penalty taker... Gets a penalty stop from the keeper. Just to rub salt into the wound. To make sure he starts off on a 5.9. Nicolusi Vecchia though. Oh, oh, it almost. We've been we've been a little dangerous here. We've been a little dangerous. In a way. Oh dear. Oh, look at the mmm. Pena's on a 6.3. Oh dearie. We'll bring on Shaq. Maybe having a holding midfielder will help us out. I doubt it. I doubt it. But at least the other players on 6.3, 6.4 were motivated. So it's like, well, if you're not going to be motivated, Pena, you can, you can come off. That's fine. Oh, I can't believe we had two penalty shouts. One of them a penalty. That got blocked. It could be, my friends, and another good shot. It could be evened up here. I didn't think the first one was, obviously, but... It could be 2-1. We could be making it interesting. Now it's just it's just torturing us. It's like, oh yeah, you thought you you had a chance, didn't you? <laughs> it also said something in the buildup like, oh, do you think you can, you know, you, you've you've uh, you've come runners up more times than you've won it. Like, can you get past that? And it's like, we've we've gotten to the cup six times, or uh, we've been runners up six times and we've won it three times. Like, that's not terrible. And of recent, like history the last 20 years right like we've done okay in the save so ease up would you Vecchia yeah, again he's gonna rocket one no he passes to Novakovic who doesn't get enough power on it right well you may be motivated but you're not playing very well so you're coming off and I'm gonna bring in big game Dante he's motivated do you think big game Dante can save us Demand more! Come on, boys. We've we've tested them definitely more in the second half, but it's gonna come up far too short. Look at the XG. Okay, take 0.75 away because of the penalty. It's just disappointing when you don't show up. When and, and again, maybe I should have played the 4231, but it, it looks like it now. Well, it looks like they were oh that was a scuffed shot. Um it looks like they were prepared for our tiki taka style. And the second half has been better, but just too little too late. We gotta take something from this and learn from it. The good news is it again if you watch Critical Role, Caduceus going, it's again. 
Um, the good news about this, though, is Feyenoord is above us in the table, so that that pushes, right, the, the European places push down a little bit. So I kind of feel like it's a... I mean, obviously, we... we we want to we want to uh, win the game, right? Uh, we want to win the cup. Um, but when we're thinking about long term, about getting in, getting back into Europe, you know, it's not our table position is infinitely more important. I probably should have taken Novakovic off. He's gonna take another one. Somebody, somebody, I, I just link me a video in the comments explaining to me how I can do better on penalties. I don't understand how your best penalty taker can have the same terrible penalty twice. Like, what am I supposed to? Am I supposed to do a Pekka Whitman from the Discord and put my goalkeeper? as uh, my best penalty taker. Um, I'm going to say I'm far from pleased with that result. I, I want to say, like, congrats on getting here, right? But the ratings were so poor. Um, it would have been nice when that's football. Uh, we'll take the good and try to eliminate the bad. I think that's fair. We're at their place. But... I feel like of all the things, I know I'm breaking the fourth wall here, but like as a player foot manager, I think the thing I least understand is penalties. And maybe it's that Novakovic is a squad player and hasn't played as many minutes recently. And his match sharpness is okay, but he's a 14. He's a 14 with 13 finishing and 14 composure. He's our best taker. How does he play? Like, and and I feel like this happens when we go to like five, or you know, five uh, penalty shootout shootouts, where it's like, I feel like no matter, I, I've gotten so many comments, people are like, oh, you should put the, you should put your best taker third, fifth, fourth, second, never, you know, like whatever, and it feels like every time my best penalty taker is always terrible. That's I know that's probably not true. That's probably like perception. But it just feels like I don't understand the penalty-taking system. So we're disappointed. But, my friends, again, this pushes this down, right? So we just got to do our job in the league. We've completed 30 games. We got four left. They're all kind of important, aren't they? I think I'm going to bring you right back. We're going to do Vitesse FC20. Sorry, here you go. Vitesse FC20, and then next episode after that, Zwolle Ajax. Where do you think we finish, my friends, with four games left, 12 points for the taking, currently a point off fourth? What do you think? Hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>